Concrete Pavers. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to install concrete pavers start to finish using this five-step method to install concrete pavers like a pro. And when we get to step number four, I'll show you the absolute best way that I found to cut these concrete pavers. The first step in the five-step method for installing concrete pavers is to prepare the area. If your area has grass or sod, you need to remove it. My area has dirt and gravel. I'll be digging down several inches to make room for paver base and paver sand. Here's the area that I'm wanting to cover in concrete pavers. I started this project a couple of years ago. So I only have about 20 feet left of area to cover with pavers. So I'm gonna start digging out dirt and gravel and then I'm gonna try to figure out what I'm gonna do with these irrigation boxes. My area to prepare is around 100 square feet and the soil here in Las Vegas is pretty dry. I'm using both a spade and a square shovel to scoop up the material and a bucket to carry it away. I'm also removing some old pavers that are in my way to make room for my new concrete pavers. There are two irrigation boxes that are in my area. I need to raise them up a few inches to match the new level of my patio. Here's what we've got with our plumbing situation. I've removed the two irrigation boxes and exposed the plumbing that was underneath. Over here you can see that one's been abandoned. That one's not live anymore. This one is live. This goes to the irrigation in the backyard. I noticed that my remaining active irrigation valve has a leak. Because the valve is older and I have the whole thing exposed, now is a really good time to replace it and fix my leak. If you want to learn more about this type of plumbing, check out my how-to video for PVC plumbing. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to cut the bottom of my gate. As step five, I'll show you how I'm going to do that. Step one is pretty much complete. I've prepared the area and I'm ready to move on to step two of the five step process, which is to add paver base. Let's get to it. I bought my paver base in easy to carry bags at the Home Depot. Each bag cost me $5.47. Four inches of base is what's recommended for foot traffic patios. Paver base is the foundation for a patio, and this material is made up of crushed rock and rock dust. This stuff is gonna stabilize the ground under my patio. After you spread out your base, you need to compact it. I used a very heavy steel tamper to compact my base. Step two is done, and my paver base is in. Now it's time for step three, which is to add my paver sand or my leveling sand. $4.47 a bag is what I paid for my sand and I bought 20 bags. As I dumped and spread out the sand on my base, I used a two x four to screed the sand to a rough level. I also used the heavy steel tamper to compact the sand. My goal here was to be within a half inch of my finished grade on the high side. All right, step three is all finished. I've got all the sand uh, leveled in. I have left the sprinkler box kind of roughed in. So as I lay the pavers closer and closer, then I'll get this where it's gonna set permanently. Now it's time for step number four, which is to lay down the concrete pavers. Part of step four, laying the concrete pavers, is to cut the concrete pavers. Some of these pavers need to get cut before I can put them in. Let me show you how I'm gonna do that. Here's the best way that I've found to cut concrete pavers. I have a high performance diamond masonry blade for my circular saw. These blades work great for cutting these things. I'll drop an affiliate link in the video description. Cutting these things makes a lot of dust, so I'll be wearing a respirator. I put a respirator on my circular saw too, so it doesn't suck dust in there. This is a terry cloth bonnet made for an orbital polisher. 
but it works great for a dust cap. The concrete pavers that I selected for my patio measure 16 inches by 16 inches and are two inches thick. Each one costs $4.57. The method that I use to lay pavers is to start with my leveling sand slightly higher than it needs to be. That way I can use a screed board to remove sand smoothly and evenly as I place each paver. After I place a paver, I like to use a level to check each one. I also like to use a rubber mallet, both to adjust the placement and the level of the paver. If you take your time and are methodical on this step, you will be rewarded with a flat level patio. With the pavers in place, my gate is now too tall, so I need to cut it down. I'll be using a cutoff wheel and my grinder. All right, step four, cut and place pavers is all finished. Now, step five, we're gonna finish the patio. We're gonna use paver sand and we're gonna finish it off. Dry sand is how I like to start the last step, which is to finish the patio. Dry sand is great to work down in between the edges of the pavers. I spent a good 20 minutes working with this dry sand. Next, I like to spray some water over the patio to assist that dry sand to work down in between the cracks. With the patio wet, now I can use a deck brush to scrub sand down into the cracks even more. I try to work the sand from all different directions until the lines are full of sand. A broom works great to remove sand and to reveal areas missing sand. The broom also physically works sand down into the joints. Be sure to save your extra sand in a bucket so that in a week from now, you can sweep more sand into the cracks where the sand is settled. Here's what my patch before and after installing concrete pavers. Follow these simple steps to install concrete pavers and your project will look just like mine. Check out this video to see how I made this wooden easel for just $22.